Double us up. Double us up. Double us up, Josh. He's on it, he's on it. Oh, he missed it. Come on, come on, come on. He's coming, he's coming. He's good. Oh, oh. Set it, set it, set it. Oh, that's a good one. That's a decent one. Good job, Josh. Josh is hooked up. We got a double up, boys. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another video, guys. Hey, it's a beautiful day out here in Tampa Bay. 80 degrees, light wind. Today, me and Chris, we got our Okuma rods. We've actually got them all rigged up so we could go sight cast for Sokovia. We know we have a high tide about two o'clock. It's about noon. And uh, so the water's, you know, it's, it's about halfway as high as it's gonna be for today. But the sun's at its highest. We got a super clear day, super clear water. We're gonna see if we can go spot some cobia. Stay tuned, it's gonna be a good time. Here. That's a school of something, Josh. Big fish, what are those? We're on, we're on, we're on. Oh, I stuck him good too, boy. Let's. Up. Hooked up, guys. Woo! That's what we were looking for, boys. We've been sitting there looking for a minute. It's he's, a baby. He's not a big one, but hey. Else? Yeah, there were four of them. There were like four or five of them over there. They might be coming back. Want? You got him? Come on, Josh. Double us oh, up. Double us up. He's going for it. Double us up, Josh. He's on it. He's on it. Oh, he missed it. Come on. Come on. Come on. He's coming. He's coming. He's good. Oh, oh. Set it. Set it. Set it. Oh, that's a good one. That's a decent one. Good job, Josh. Josh is hooked up. We got a double up, boys. Oh, Chris. Get the, get the other move. Get the bigger. All right. Putting this down. Putting this down. Get in the other pole, boys. Over there. Hurry up. They're bigger. No, they're over here. I don't see them. I don't see them. I'm looking. I'm going to get up on the polling platform. I got this guy hooked up back here. That's a good one, Josh. That's a decent one. He, listen to that drag scream, boy looking guys we're get him Woo! i saw him right at the top and i was like i just thought it was the stingrays Chris, the water, let's dude. go <laughs> <laughs> yes sir hey first fish guys on the new akuma rods here josh has got the drt custom inshore rod dtr baby dtr, DTR. gotta get go. this is the s srt inshore premiere hold on we got the big eagle ray right here josh Whoa, big eagle ray are they there's a cobia on them he's on him throw it throw it He's on him, on the back side of him. I'm throwing, I'm throwing. No, get out in front of him, get out in front of him. Hurry up. Good job. We, we got Kobe all over the boat. It's going right. We have Kobe all over the boat. Did he eat? No, he didn't even look at it. He just stayed right with that ray. <laughs> we got we gotta keep putting the rod down guys because we got cobias. Epic cobias that we're trying to land. Epic. Alright. Well Chris pinned that one and then I came by and found the school and pinned mine. I couldn't tell how big they were just because of the uh and the three Can you go move him to this rod the other rod holder I think? Thirty pounders actually swam right by us, guys. Oh, he came undone! No! Uh, how well, uh, out of all that, he comes undone, man. That's here, gonna bite again. They're very dull. He didn't bite again. 
no that's all right that's all right he was guys he was a baby i'm not stressing it he was probably i don't know eight pounds or so Bustle beat guard getting a workout today, boys and girls, on the sight fish cobia. Oh, 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 careful. <laughs> Grab his tail for a <laughs> Or put your hand on an angle of kill. Got him, boys. Got him, boys. Alright, good job. Let's, uh, we want to get a measure on him real quick. He is 36, but 33 to the fork. Hey, check out that, guys. Castaway Customs hooking Josh up with the new bump board. Let's go. Hey, guys, came out here to do some sight casting, sight fishing. Double header, baby. Double header. Let's go. Little guy. Co Cobes on board. Cobes on board. Cobes on board. <laughs> We're gonna let her go. All right, guys. What an epic, epic 15 or so minutes. What do you think, Josh? Beautiful fish, guys. I'm gonna see if we can go get a bigger one. You ready? You gonna get an underwater release or? Uh, just let him go. Get that, get that close, I can just let her go. Let him go, let him grow. You ready? I'm ready when you are, I sir. Think she's ready. She wants to go home to her family. Hey, bring us the big girls. Bye bye, Cobes. Bye bye. That's what it's all about, guys. Oh, that man. is what it's all about. Look at that slime. Ooh. <laughs> and we haven't even got to the, some of the other fishing we we're going to do. All right, so you won't believe this. So we're catching these Cobby and stuff, and I tell Chris, I say, man, something's not right. That bilge is kicking on quite frequently. And we're trying to chase this Cobby around. And I look in here and there's water dumping in, like heavily dumping in, in my opinion. Look at this. And the bilge is kicking on every two minutes. So we're literally sinking. So we're gonna have to take the boat off the water and get it on the, the actual um, trailer so we can try to find out what's going on here. Now, we've checked all the other parts of the boat. The only thing that I could think of um, is that the water is going in through these scuppers because they're not completely sealed. I mean, that's the only thing I could think of at this point, but I really don't know. Any ideas? Comment below, let me know. Chris with On Site actually was down here at the boat ramp. We're at Simmons Park Boat Ramp. He was working with another customer and uh, he's looked in here and he says it's very concerning as well and we can't quite diagnose the problem as of yet. The bill just come on, I don't know, five, five to seven times since we've been sitting here and we've been sitting here for about 15 minutes. So that's alarming. Chris is gonna uh, put the boat back on uh, the, uh, his trailer that he has or Chris's trailer and he's going to try to diagnose it and maybe look up under the hole and stuff. I don't know. What's happening? Nice to see you again. Is it really? I don't know. I'll tell you in a minute. <laughs> hey. We go from having such a good, good day to that. I haven't been that excited in a minute. Wrong way. After a lot of frustration. Yes. What's the problem, Chris? So you got these drain ports that go through the inside of the boat to the outside of the boat. And what it's doing is it's leaking between the two halls. So you got the outer hall and the inner subfloor. It's leaking between the two. And the sealant on this puppy is just gone. That's what's causing the, the problem. 
it's on both sides. Chris says it's on both sides. So what happened, guys, is Chris brought the boat over in some rough weather the other day. And I think what happened was it really dislodged the scuppers, the little brass piece that's in there. As you see, it's horrible. But now, look at that water. Look at that thing. Oh, my goodness. Like, we ain't going to sink a hole. Chris, are we? No, nah, we're not going to sink. All right, at least so, we're at the boat ramp. Yeah, we are at the boat ramp. So that goes to show you, if you're getting water in your boat, it could be something as simple as just your scuppers, and then you're, you know, you know, you're sitting duck out there just sinking. It's actually kind of alarming. So I guess I might have to get Chris to fix these, and hopefully fix them where I don't have to worry about it again. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, but at least it isn't a cracked hole. <laughs> could be worse. I told Chris to be gentle. Well, so he said five thousand dollars to repair it. <laughs> I think that was just his humor, that you was know. Just a joke. Just a joke. I don't know. So stay tuned, guys. Went from Kobe fishing to sinking to Chris fixing to me getting another job. There you go. See, I think he probably loosened those up last time the boat was in there. So <laughs> he can get some more money. <laughs> All right, guys. So just to talk to you a little bit about what we were doing today. Um, we were sight fishing for cobia on the flats, crystal clear water. And what I was throwing is my Okuma DTR Custom. This is the jig and jerkbait rod. And as you can see, it's a 7.2. This is a medium, 8 to 14 pound class rod. Really nice, guys. And then what I had here, I had my little, I'm waiting on my Okuma reels to come in. But this is my little Daiwa here. And this only has, this is the Daiwa 2500 Fuego. You guys have seen this in my other videos, but it has 15 pound test spider wire on here. And the lure of choice, guys, which you can see. Pretty sexy little lure, has an ultra wide gap 2 0 hook. But this is what I was throwing the 4 inch Exo Swim by BioSpawn. I really like the scent and the wobble and the wiggle on this particular soft plastic. Really good stuff. So a lot of fun. I know it didn't kind of pan out like we wanted it to. It's going to cost me a lot of money to fix these things, but at least we didn't sink. Chris was already out the boat ramp, so that was pretty cool. But if you like this video, guys, please give a thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe if you haven't already. Do you want to see more Cobia videos? Let me know. Till next time, see you on the water.